replacing a cooling fan on a Magnum Energy MMS 1012 made by Magnusine Magnum Company USA. So this inverter is manufactured the third quarter 2017 and uh, we replacing fan a cooling fan from this guy stay tuned or how to replace a cooling fan on a magnum mm s1012 12 volt thousand watt inverter it's a low frequency let's look into let's look inside the magnum inverter I already have all the screws taken out and this is the inside but we're gonna flip this thing the other way around here we go so this is how the magnum build the inverters it has a big transformer for a little guy with a temperature sensor up here on the transformer that regulates the the fan speed is a speed control so you see they mark their territory you know how some people normally play games in taking um, parts or maybe you know exchanging the guts or something they think they can get away with that but sometimes they mark everything they've done on the company way or the manufacturing way you don't have no idea what just happened so um, how things are set up because that's how they do even sometimes on turking the talking the um, the nuts and bolts and whatever they put like a pencil mac or crayon or whatever marker and how the talk specifications how they've done it and they understand everything that is happening in here if someone want to make a claim of false allegations so look at all the terminals battery terminals where they attach to uh the motherboard and um, um transformers here or capacitors or capacitor sorry um you see so this is a contact relay is the one that clicks when you get connected to the grid you sense it it clicks and this is the transformer is huge guys a huge this is the inside of the magnum the mms 1012 pure sine wave inverter charger so if never seen inside or you you are not sure or being skeptical about these guys inverters and today I think that skepticism or whatever idea you think uh, is not a good inverters and this is gonna be a big disappointment to you for a small guy like this is way better than the other um, high frequency inverters this guy can tolerate a lot. You can, you've seen a lot of them on my video. So let's go and remove this. You see the speed control um, thing right here with the fan. Speed control, is it plugs to the circuit board right there. And it has uh, three, two wires. And it comes all the way, the sensor attached to the transformer at the top of it so when it sends the the heat is so high this fan is gonna ramp up really fast and cool takes the heat blow the air out this way to the output the vent right here it sucks the air from the battery terminals here and all the way out it's blowing it out it's not blowing it in because the heat of this transformer will cause more problems or overheating 
the um, the uh, circuit board or all these components in here. Look at all these uh, connections they've done here. So these are 30 amp. Um, I think it's 30 amp charge con uh, inverter. So all the wires are like 10 gauge wires in here. And you will see it has the breakers, AC 20 amps or something. And um, let's see. So we're going to try and the inverter works. Don't get me wrong. So this is a fan we're replacing. And we just have to take the wire and put a new one. Okay. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe. JW Solar USA live from Minnesota. Bye for now. Like and subscribe. All right, guys. We took the fan out. And we're just going to replace it with this one here. Okay, we have the fan back in. And uh, we're trying to plug this guy back in here. Right there. Stay tuned. Okay. I suppose we have that back in and um, get all these wires. Make sure it's properly contact. Push it all the way in. It's not going to be on the way for anything then we can put back the cover it's in place it goes through these grooves right here and the fan sits right there and you see on the corner like a sitting spot so it's not going anywhere the cables underneath the groove of the fan okay um just like here you pass the cable underneath and it sits there so we just have to try and make sure he works like and subscribe JW Solar USA back it's in again so we just put the screws and uh, put it back together We'll be right back. All right, it's all done. We already replaced it. Tighten up. We still have all our connections here, our plugs, and uh, everything is good to go. I mounted this in a steel plate or aluminum plate so that I can mount it anyhow I want it by using the bushing here. Watch the video on my 12 volt playlist. You see what I'm done. I've done with uh, things. So get this bad boy back in service. Yep, it's gonna run for another many years to come. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye for now. It's Magnum. There we go. Good boy. Good machines.